So, uh, welcome back to uh, Sam and Kev's Outdoor Adventures. I'm Kev. No Sam today, he has called in sick. But uh, we've brought along Nige, and today we are up in uh, Araki Mount Cook National Park, uh, heading off to Sefton Gov. So, it's a uh, nice weather at the moment. We think there might be uh, a little bit of rain later on, but uh, we're heading for the moment down the Hooker Valley Trail. Um, going over the first couple of swing bridges and then sort of halfway between second and third, we're going to make a bit of a turn. So we've uh, got to the uh, turn off at uh, the stocking stream. Um, not marked, but um, relatively clear when you're following the instructions from the uh, dock office, which I have to say um, were fantastic. So. Um, this turn off is on the boardwalk, um, sort of halfway between the two sets of toilets and just before you cross the street. So we are heading up the true right. Hit about the 1100 meter mark and uh, marked by a huge rock here. Um, I assume they come and go depending on the seasons and the um, avalanches. Um, been a steepish, I guess, how we describe up until now. But we only really just got into um, the gorgy bit of uh, Stocking Stream and she pitches up pretty steep from here so um, could be a bit of hands and knees stuff need to be pretty careful watch where we're going and uh, look after our footing I think So we've uh, made it to the next key marker point the uh, marker pole with the orange bit on it um, which is past the rock end See behind me we've got um, the Muller Glacier and out to um, my right that way is uh, where the Muller Hut is and uh, out that way see my face and on the opposite side of the camera and uh, our Aki Mount Cook. We made it to our uh, last navigational feature which is the big orange arrow which you can see uh, just above my head. Um, up till now track hasn't been too bad we've had nice dry conditions and it's been um, pretty easy to follow so we um, have a bit of a clamber through the rocks now so hopefully it stays not too bad. So I've just crested um, up on the ridge and in behind me got our first view of the biv and uh, a little bit of the ice face of the glacier coming down and what a fantastic sight it is nice nice and lovely bright orange and um, looks absolutely magical. So, a quick tour of the hut. Nice uh, door section, and she's huge. Look at that. We've got a uh, outdoor window. Yeah, it's a rock biv. And one, two, three mattresses on the floor. A, um, a little bit of a seat on one side, a seat on the other. And that's it. Uh, just down about 50 metres further on past the biv, uh, there is a uh, nice rock biv. It's a sort of an outdoor area and a uh, rather cosy sort of indoor area. Um, definitely not too claustrophobic. Great view. So we're underway for day two. We're gonna make our way down into the valley. Um, big inversion layers come across there, but uh, down on the way up we could see uh, what looks like a new hut, which I think is a new hogger hut. So we'll um, call into that on the way past and see what it looks like. There's some uh, fantastic plant life on the way down here. So um, both these uh, get all snowberries and also the um, Mount Cook buttercup, which is the uh, largest buttercup in the world. So we're here 
in the February start of March, so it's not a flower, it's unfortunate. But even just looking at the leaves, it's um, lovely little plant. So um, make your way down, we'll work nutrition. So the inversion layer is slowly clearing and uh, we can see the nice orange roof of what we think is the uh, new hooker hut. So uh, here we are, what I think is the new hooker hut. It's still a process of being built. It's got about 10 bunks in it. Two rooms and uh, been done up by Doc. Nothing but one of those, but it looks absolutely fantastic. Stunning view of, um, of the front deck that we're sitting on now. So um, that's about it for us. So if you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you're new around here, um, please, please subscribe. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching, and we'll um, we'll see you next time. And Nigel and I are back off to the White Horse uh, camping ground.